In this video, we're doing u substitutions using the function e to the x. Remember, in derivatives, when we were taking the derivative of y equals e to the x, the exponent was your inside function. And remember, again, the derivative of dy dx is just e to the x. So in our first example, notice this does say e to the x. So our answer is just e to the x plus c. In our second example, our exponent no longer says x. It says sine x. So u is sine x du dx, the derivative of u with respect to x, would be cosine x. Kill the fraction, so du is equal to cosine x dx. Now, notice cosine x dx, I have that. So that becomes du. e to the sine x becomes e to the u. And now, when we integrate, we get e to the u plus c. But it's not really u. Remember, u was sine. So we get e to the sine x plus c. Let's go again. In example 3, notice that our exponent is now negative x. So u is negative x. du dx would be a negative 1. Then we can bring the dx to the other side. Uh, now, we don't have a negative 1. We have a positive 1. So if I want to put a negative 1 on the inside, I need to multiply by a negative 1 on the outside so as not to change the problem. Well, now I have negative integral e to the u du, which is negative e to the u plus c. But again, it's not really u. It's really negative x. So I get negative e to the negative x plus c. In example 4, notice our exponent is negative 2x. So u is negative 2x. That means du is negative 2 dx. Now, I need a negative 2 dx. I only have a dx. So if I want to include a negative 2 on the inside, since that's multiplication, I'm going to need a negative half on the outside. So now I have a negative 1 half integral e to the u du. Well, that's negative 1 half e to the u plus c. But it's not really e to the u. It's negative 1 half e u is negative 2x plus c. AP could, of course, rewrite that as negative e to the negative 2x over 2 plus c. So be prepared for that. In example 5, let's try that again with a negative. Our exponent is negative 5x, so u is negative 5x. du is negative 5dx. I don't have a negative 5dx, so if I want to put a negative 5 on the inside, I must multiply by a negative 1 fifth on the outside. I get negative 1 fifth integral e to the u du. So that's negative 1 fifth e to the u plus c, which is negative 1 fifth e. u is really negative 5x, so to the negative 5x plus c. In our last example, this looks a little bit tricky, but it's about the same. Our exponent is now root x. So if u is root x, du, the derivative of root x, would be 1 over 2 root x dx. Now, if you look, we have that right here. So that becomes du. We have the integral of e to the u du, which is, of course, e to the u plus c. But it's not really u. It's really root x, so e to the root x plus c. We need to think of this problem up here, and I'm going to rewrite it over here so you can see it perhaps a little better, is integral. Think of it as e to the root x times 
1 over 2 root x dx. That way you can maybe see your du a little better.